Biological hazards are the most frequently reported hazard group associated with foodborne illness in the U.S. The CDC estimates that one in six, or 48 million people, get sick from eating food every year in the U.S. and 3,000 die. Biological hazards include pathogenic bacteria, viruses, parasites, yeasts, mold, and prions. Viruses and bacteria are the most common foodborne pathogens. Pathogenic bacteria are considered bacteria that can cause illness or injury to humans by either infection or intoxication. They can survive in food and multiply without causing any spoilage or change in the appearance or taste of the food. The important hazardous bacteria to consider in food processing include infectious bacteria, bacteria producing toxins, spore-forming bacteria, and non-spore-forming bacteria. Foodborne infections are a result of pathogens invading the body after consumption of contaminated food. In this case, growth in the food may not be necessary to cause illness. Foodborne intoxications, however, are a result of consuming toxins produced by pathogens in the food. In this case, no growth in food means no toxin formation and therefore no illness. A few examples of bacterial pathogens that grow and infect humans are pathogenic E. coli, Listeria monocytogens, and Salmonella. Examples of bacteria that infect with their toxins include Staphylococcus aureus, Clostridium botulinum, and Bacillus cereus. Because growth in the body is required for an infection, considerable time can pass before symptoms occur, typically more than 12 hours and sometimes days or weeks. The symptoms of foodborne intoxication usually occur more rapidly than those from a foodborne infection, and illness can occur a few hours after consumption. Pathogenic bacteria can also be classified as spore formers and non-spore formers. Bacterial spores are dormant structures that are highly resistant to chemicals, heat, radiation, and other treatments that would normally be lethal to vegetative forms of both spore formers and non-spore formers. Certain types of bacteria, such as Clostridium and Bacillus species, enter this dormant stage to help the survival of the organism. Note that spore formers grow as vegetative cells. In the photo, the bright ovals are heat-resistant Bacillus cereus spores, and the larger dark rod-shaped bacteria are Bacillus cereus in its vegetative state. Spores themselves are not hazardous as long as they remain dormant. However, they may become a hazard in the food if they are exposed to favorable conditions that allow germination and growth as vegetative cells. When dealing with spore formers, much more severe conditions are required as spores are far more resistant. A few examples of spore-forming pathogenic bacteria, in addition to Bacillus cereus, include Clostridium botulinum and Clostridium perfringens. Remember that biological hazards can be introduced into a food product from ingredients, raw materials, from food processing equipment, the environment used to make the final product, and from people handling the product during harvesting or processing.